coffee lovers of YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosler here. For today's video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Turkish coffee and how to mix your own cardamom and coffee blend if you can't find it in your area. Two part video today. Firstly, I want to show you guys what a commercially prepared mixture of coffee and cardamom looks like. On the right, this is the pre ground stuff I get from Izzy Man's in Jerusalem. And on the left, this is their whole beans and cardamom mixture, <coughs> which I picked up uh, yesterday at their location in the old city. And I'm going to show you guys what the commercially prepared one looks like. So you can see what's kind of on the market. These guys have been doing coffee for yonks and they're really good at it. And they make Arabic. Arabic coffee is probably what they're supplying most of. The difference versus Turkish and Arabic coffee is that in Arabic coffee, uh, they add cardamom pods, whole green cardamom pods, like the one I'm holding up here. It's very popular throughout the Middle East and it actually kind of really balances out the flavor nicely. Cardamom, if I'm not mistaken, is related to ginger and it also makes the coffee a bit easier to digest, cuts down on the acidity of the coffee a bit. Now this is their mixture. I asked for just a light roast along with my cardamom. Some folks like a mixture, in other words, a light roast and green roast and light roast and dark roast and cardamom mixture i personally prefer light roast but it's an individual preference now i'm going to show you guys here how to mix your own cardamom coffee if you don't have a middle eastern coffee supplier in your area all you need to do is pick up some whole green cardamom pods and buy some coffee now these cardamom pods are a year old so they're not at their prime whole cardamom pods stay on the shelf for a number of years but of course it's always better to get them fresh if you can so all you really need to do is get a tub i'm using here a chef's pan for this mixing process and again i'm just using a light roast of coffee but uh experiment try making turkish coffee with dark roast mixture of light and dark roast and just light and see what you like best and all you have to do really is mix in the uh, cardamom pods as I'm about to do. Now, I think I might like a bit more cardamom in my coffee than Izzy Man's give, but you're going to find your own taste. You definitely don't want to put in too much. I would say the amount of cardamom i mixing in here is probably about as much as you want. You wouldn't want to add much more than this because it just kind of dominates the coffee. And uh, just do it by eye. Mix a little bit. You know, some, some recipes say you want to have exactly one teaspoon per uh, cup of coffee. Izzy Man's just do it by eye and that's how I do it. I don't think you need to be overly exact about it, but uh, just know the general proportions of something like this, that the coffee is dotted with cardamom. And I think here I'm looking at my Izzy Man's on the left. I think I've achieved pretty much the same coffee to cardamom uh, ratio as they did just mixing it in uh, by eye. Hope that was helpful. If you're getting into Turkish coffee, Arabic coffee, and want to start mixing your own coffee and cardamom, it's super simple. Just buy some uh, coffee beans, buy some cardamom pods, and you can totally do it uh, just by hand. Thanks for watching. More videos coming soon.